hello students i welcome you all in this video i am going to present a lesson measurement measurement is the basis of all important scientific study it plays an important role in our daily life also while finding your height buying milk for your family timing the race completed by your friend and so on you need to make measurements so measurement is defined as the determination of the size or magnitude of a quantity i repeat measurement is defined as the determination of the size or magnitude of a quantity in this lesson you will learn about units of measurements and the characteristics of measuring instruments physical quantities physical quantity is a quantity that can be measured so quantities such as mass weight distance temperature volume are called physical quantities this physical quantities are expressed by magnitude to express magnitude of a physical quantity we used a numerical value and a unit for example suresh walks 2 km every day in this example 2 is the numerical value and km is the unit now let us study about units fundamental quantities and derived quantities these are the two kinds of physical quantities this is fundamental quantities or a set of quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of any other quantities are known as fundamental quantities a set of quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of any other quantities are known as fundamental quantities another kind of physical quantities derived quantities physical quantities which can be obtained by multiplying dividing or by mathematically combining the fundamental quantities so these derived quantities are obtained by the derived quantities the seven fundamental quantities are there these seven fundamental quantities are length mass time temperature electric current amount of substance luminous intensity with the help of these seven fundamental units the units for other derived quantities are obtained these are the derived quantities obtained by the fundamental quantities they are area volume density velocity acceleration force work energy power pressure we will learn Uh, these derived and fundamental quantities briefly first fundamental quantity unit is length length is the extent of something between two points the si unit of length is meter in order to measure very large distance we use the following units one is astronomical unit next second one is light year then third one is parsec first astronomical unit astronomical unit is the mean distance of the center of the sun from the center of the earth the distance between the center of the sun from the center of the 
earth is one astronomical unit so one astronomical unit is equal to 1.496 into 10 power 11 meter 1.496 into 10 power 11 meter the another one unit is light year light year is the distance traveled by light in one year in vacuum and it is equal to 9.46 into 10 power 15 meter so one light year is equal to 9.46 into 10 power 15 meter light travels 3 into 10 power 8 meter in one second or 3 lakhs kilometer in one second in one year we have 365 days the total number of seconds in one year is equal to 365 years into 24 into 60 into 60 is equal to 3.153 into 10 power 7 second so one light year is equal to 3.153 into 10 power 7 into 3 into 10 power 8 is equal to 9.46 into 10 power 15 meter 10 power 15 meter the last unit is parsec the celestial bodies like stars are measured by this parsec Pasek is the unit of distance used to measure astronomical objects outside the solar system. So, star outside the solar system, many stars are there. So, the distance from the sun to the stars measured by the unit Pasek. So, one Pasek is equal to 3.26 light year. So, dear children... We will meet in the next class.